Welcome to the rider briefing video for the 2024 Cape Town Cycle Tour. We're extremely excited to be welcoming you and thousands of other riders to our beautiful city for the 46th edition of this iconic event. We are extremely thrilled to announce a groundbreaking enhancement to the rider and spectator experience this year. Friends and family and riders can now track participants in real time through the new Sports Splits Tracker app. It's a mobile app that you can download onto your phone. Not only does this app feature live tracking and live leaderboard, there's an interactive map that allows you to see detail where refreshment stations are and cutoffs, as well as places of interest, parking and power zones. If you're riding this year and you need to download the app, the link will be in the caption to this video. There's also an info section with all the latest event updates that you need to make your ride as smooth as possible. Let's get started. Before you ride, there's some extremely important information that you need to know. Your first stop at the Cape Town Cycle Tour is the Registration and Expo. Not only will you register and collect your race pack at the Expo, but you will also be able to find anything you may need to improve your Cycle Tour performance. From energy gels to last minute kit additions to slick sunglasses, spend some time at the Expo to find it all. Don't forget to stop in at some of our event partners, uh, Garmin and Thule, and pick up their latest accessories. You must ensure you make the expo or someone else does on your behalf as you may not participate without the items that are in your race pack. If you are collecting the race pack on behalf of another participant, please ensure that you have a copy of their ID and their entry confirmation, which would have been sent to you via an SMS or on an email. No substitutions will be done at registration and online substitutions have now officially closed. Riders can collect their race packs from the DHL Stadium, the times and dates you will see on screen. In regards Expo Parking and the Thule Bike Park, the Thule Bike Park is available to all those coming in by bicycle, a secure environment to park your bike as you wander around the Expo. And in and around the DHL Stadium, there will be public parking available for participants, as well as a limited parking at P3, which is situated opposite McDonald's on Fritz Sonnenberg Road. A dedicated disabled parking bays have been reserved on P5. Parking will also be available at CTICC in parking area 1, with My City Shuttle service running from the CTICC to the DHL Stadium and back throughout the day during each day of the Expo. Normal CTICC parking rates will apply. Right, in your race pack you will receive the following. Your race number, a blank number board, a sticker sheet, this has your number board sticker which gets cable tied to the front of your handlebars, your emergency sticker which goes onto your race number, and your action photo race sticker which goes onto your helmet. Finish time timing board and rubberized timing board bike holder with cable ties. This year we are introducing a new timing board. No longer the timing chip that was worn around your ankle or on your shoe or front fork. This is a new timing board and will be inside your race pack that you have received at registration. There's also a detailed description on an A5 piece of paper which you'll find in that race pack detailing how to attach the timing board to your bike. In essence, the timing board should be mounted under your saddle facing backwards. Where that's not possible, there are a few other options that you will find on the pamphlet inside your race pack. It is important that you keep the timing board in a horizontal position as that is the best possible way for it to read across the timing mats. Remember that a timing board isn't just about timing you and giving you a race position and time. It's also about managing our resource on the day. We need to know where riders are uh, and how many we are anticipating across the finish line at any one time. It allows our medical team to know how many people have crossed various different points and how many people are still coming so that we can manage resource like water, hydration. You're headed to the start. Along with the items in your race pack, please don't forget your helmet. And listed on screen now are the items that you will not be allowed to start the event without. Take note of some other important details. No smoking, no form of triathlon bars or time trials, no littering. Please use the chuck zones or keep your litter in your back pockets. No personal music systems, in or on the side of your head. You cannot ride with somebody else's timing board, that is strictly not allowed and that is a safety thing. If somebody has an accident, we need to be able to identify them by the timing board that is on their, their bike. You may not start or attempt to start before your designated start group. 
any rider who does so will be disqualified. It's important that you make sure at the start that you are loading into the correct pen. Irrespective of the instructions being given to you, make sure that the pen you're loading into is the pen that is on your number. You may, however, start in a later designated start group, just not an earlier one. So if you want to drop back to ride with friends and family in a group further behind, please do so. That's absolutely fine. There will be no penalty uh, and you will be deemed to have started in the group that you've dropped back to. We suggest that you arrive 30 minutes before your start time, but not longer, to avoid congestion in the start area. At the start, you'll find coffee, pancakes, muffins and light breakfast items on sale. There'll be a bike mechanic service for last minute checks, info tents, toilets and a tog bag drop off for those wishing to collect goods at the end of the event. Tog bag drop for the 109 kilometer riders. You can drop your tog bags with clean clothes and walking shoes and it'll be taken to the race village in the DHL stadium precinct to await your arrival. If you are starting early and will most likely finish before 9.30, you will need to make sure you indicate which drop off bus you are going to be leaving your clothing with. Here's an important note as far as the starting procedure of the Cape Town Cycle Tour 2024 is concerned. In the last number of years through COVID, post-COVID, we have used a rolling start from your start group with the start time when you cross the timing mats. 2024 sees a change. We will be using gun time off the start line. So you will be counted down by the announcer and your time will start when the gun goes off for your respective start groups. Please bear that in mind and make sure that the rest of the riders know to press go on their Garmin devices as the gun fires. Race day parking. Please refer to the detailed parking layout available on the app. There is limited parking available within the DHL stadium and tickets for this area will be on sale at a cost of 50 Rand on a first come first serve basis at registration. There will also be parking available at the CTICC in P1 and riders will cycle to the start from there. My City Bus Shuttle Service will be running from the DHL Stadium back to the CTRCC to take riders back to their vehicles after the finish. This is a free service and bikes are allowed on board. Normal CTRCC parking rates will apply. We encourage you to cycle to and from the event or use public transport. We also encourage you to carpool or arrange that you are dropped off at the start or the start precinct and collected from the finish precinct. There's plenty of legal parking within the Cape Town CBD and between the start and finish precincts so there's no need to risk ticket. Don't park in any way that is dangerous or obstructs traffic flow, residence driveways or businesses. Please do not leave anything visible in your car. If you have to leave anything at all ensure that it is locked away in the boot. Road closure information is available on our website as well as available on the new app that we have spoken about already. En route, the Cape Town Cycle Tour is a mammoth undertaking. To safely usher so many cyclists around 109 km route requires precision planning. To that end, cutoffs are strictly enforced with sweet vehicles at the ready to pick up tired bodies and bikes that have had en route mechanicals, medicals or simply can't continue. There are 12 refreshment stations along the 109 km route. All refreshment stations will stock Coke, Powerade and water along with medical and mechanical support. Remember to bring your reusable water bottle. As cups will not be available at refreshment stations, we will be pouring directly into your water bottles or alternatively your hydration packs, which you're welcome to wear on your back. Visit the app for precise locations on all of the refreshment stations. Physiotherapy is available from refreshment station number four onwards. Please ensure that you carry enough bike spares on you and be self-sufficient as possible. There will be mechanics on motorbikes carrying a limited amount of spares en route to assist in instance where you may not have the requisite parts. Make sure you keep an eye open for cat eyes and possible potholes. We've made every effort to identify these potholes in a pre-route drive, but you are driving on public roads. Cutoffs. To ensure your safety and that of other road users, several cutoffs have been established. Unfortunately, if you have not reached a specific cutoff point in time, you will have to get on one of the sweep buses provided, which will take you and your bike back to the finish at Greenpoint. The sweep drop off point will be at the A track parking opposite McDonald's. On screen now are the various cutoffs at the various different points. Riders are required to complete the cycle to course within seven hours of their starting time. 
to be awarded a result and a finishing certificate, unless the race organised determine otherwise. Riders will not be able to do the 109km route twice due to the 42km route taking part directly after the last group of cyclists in the 109 has left. E-bikes. E-bikes have been embraced by the cycle tour for the past number of years. And really what this is about is to allow people for whom 109 kilometers is normally not achievable. We encourage you not to race up the hills at high speed past the cyclists on conventional bikes, but to enjoy a pleasant cycle up those hills, looking at the views and enjoying what the event has to offer. Most importantly, if you've entered on an e-bike, you need to ensure that you have ticked the requisite box that we know you are entered on an e-bike, or alternatively, double check at the expo, as e-bikes will only be seated from group 3A backwards, and most importantly, in the spirit of inclusion and non-racing, e-bikes may not complete the event in a time of faster than three hours and 50 minutes. So please measure your ride. Really what we would rather you were doing is stopping at the coffee shops, uh, enjoying a croissant and a coffee, uh, and watching the scenery and other riders go by. So we encourage all our e-bikers please to embrace the spirit of what e-bikes and the cycle tour is all about and simply that is participation. Medical emergencies. Take note of the following important race day emergency contact numbers. They will be printed on your race number as well. Racing groups. The under 17 boys racing group will set off from Fishhook at 0600 followed shortly by the women's elite group at 0605. They will complete a 78 km route, while the men's elite racing groups will set off from Grand Parade at 0615 on the traditional 109 km route. There will be a podium prize giving for the top five men, women and under 17 boys racing categories on the commentary deck on the finish line of the 109 km route at 10 a.m. on Sunday the 10th of March. After prize giving, they will make their way to the Powerade Pause Lounge for post-race interviews. Age group prize giving will take place on Monday the 11th of March at 0900 at Southern Sun the Cullinan. Age group winners will be contacted on Sunday afternoon after the race by our events office team. At the finish, after you've crossed the finish line, keep moving, collect your medal, your coke and head towards the finish hospitality area which will be buzzing with tired and happy faces. There will be a beer tent, a picnic area, uh, area for clubs, contact our events office to book an area, a kids area and a Granny Gears obstacle course. Live entertainment and a shaded public seating area for families. Stay and enjoy the day with us and celebrate the phenomenal achievement of riders crossing the finish line. Comtel will be providing free Wi-Fi at the start and finish village. That is a perfect opportunity for all cyclists finishing to join our Strava Club and upload your ride. Any cyclists finishing their 10th, 21st, 30th or 40th cycle tour will receive a special medal. This commemorative medal will be available from the info tent on the DHL Stadium forecourt shortly after collecting their 2024 finishers medal. If you are concerned about your health in any way after completing the 109 km route, please visit the MediClinic medical area. The MediClinic crew will be on hand to help you. Where to watch the race on the day? Many people ask us how they can follow the race, what's happening. The 2024 Cape Town Cycle Tour will be live streamed from 0600 to 1100 on race day. This will be on Facebook and YouTube Live. You'll find the link on our website the day before the event. You'll also be able to follow the leading men and leading women in the live leaderboard via the tracking app. All this important information and more is located in our electronic event guide, which has been sent to each rider. Make sure you familiarize yourself with the details. Have fun, be safe, and see you all on the start line. Events of this nature don't simply happen. It is the coming together of a variety of sponsors, partners, marshals, volunteers, city services, and provincial expertise that allows us to take to the roads for this incredibly special day. Our thanks go out to all of these parties for giving us, the cyclists, the opportunity to experience the most fun one can have on two wheels on the greatest peninsula in the world.